In northwestern Costa Rica, in the province of Guanacaste, exists a chain of volcanoes that nearly reach the border of Nicaragua. Some of these are more active than others. On the slopes of Volcan, Tenorio, and Miravalles are a variety of forest types, ranging from dry forest on the Pacific side to wet rainforest on the Atlantic side. In these forests, between 700 meters to 1200 meters, lives a very interesting tree called the Jicaro de Danto or taper tree. These strange scratchings indicate something was trying to reach these large fruits that look like giant pickles. It's not one of the largest trees, but it does grow up to 15 to 20 meters in height. Oddly, this tree's flowers come right off the trunk, a characteristic called cauliflore. The flowers begin to open late in the day, and bees often eat holes in their base to get to the nectar. They may not look as tasty as a pickle, but Baird's tapers just love them. But what's happening here? Well, as night sets in, nectar bats come to drink the nectar and in the process carry pollen from one flower to another, affecting pollination. Several species of bats, like this long-tongued bat, vie for its nectar. The fruit hangs on and matures. Meanwhile, tapers hang out in the day, taking mud baths and other spa activities. They mostly feed at dusk and at night, especially when people are around, which is nearly everywhere now. Mud baths are good for getting relief from insect bites. And it just feels good. Tapers like to poop in streams and rivers, so jaguars can't pick up their scent. It also cools them down and does provide a place to escape if jaguars do find them. They do not have a stiff upper lip. In fact, it's prehensile. Baird's taper has a diet that is about three-fourths leaves and stems and one-fourth fruit. It spends 70% of its active time eating and consumes about 15 kilos of food per day, which it digests in a single stomach. It likes the taper tree fruit so much that it is constantly checking out each tree within its home range, even as other individuals are doing the same. First come, first serve. They have very strong jaws for breaking seeds. And while this fruit is not hard, another favorite food, the guapinal tree, has really hard seed pods. Tapers don't see very well, but their sense of smell is fantastic. And they have special adaptations, like sensitive hairs on their feet that warn them of incoming vampire bats. Studies have shown that tapers spend more time in secondary forests and in light gaps where there is more vegetation at heights that they can reach. Adios. There goes an armored rat one of Costa Rica's two spiny rats, and it's not interested in the fruit.